We've recently seen Anheuser-Busch, Target, Nike receive backlash for LGBTQ plus campaigns. Bud Light sales dropped nearly 30% after promoting a trans influencer. Target stock hit a three-year low after putting Pride merchandise on its shelves. The company shed $13 billion in value. But Mark Cuban has another take. The billionaire investor told the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, quote, there's a reason almost all the top 10 market cap companies in the U.S. can be considered woke. It's good business. Many of those huge corporations like Apple, Microsoft, have been very vocal about LGBTQ issues in Pride Month. And when there's backlash, Cuban believes most CEOs just know how to ride it out. He went on to say most CEOs have enough experience to know to just wait out the news cycle until they go to the next one. Is he right? Again, joined by Bacha Unger Sargon. Opinion editor for Newsweek, Ali Breen, stand-up comedian and a regular Fox News guest, and Cenk Uger, founder and host of The Young Turks. Um, all right, so do you believe that it is good for business? Is, could Cuban be right? When you do look at all the big businesses, they do seem to all support these issues that seem to be getting at least just a couple of companies in trouble. Yeah, I think in general he's probably correct. If you look at Apple and Microsoft... Budweiser, that was a huge mess. I don't know why anyone thought that that was the agenda to promote for Budweiser. I don't think that that's the clientele. You had, you know, some woman who graduated from Wharton Business trying to relate to beer drinkers who are like truckers and, and then insulting the entire, you know, market that they usually cater to. That's the big problem. If you can be inclusive without insulting your market, and I think Mark Cuban wouldn't do it for his own brand. I don't think he'd get some trans influencers to go, you know, advertise for the Mavericks. I but don't think that I, would But work I wonder whether it's what is expendable and what isn't, right? Like Bud Light, you can go buy, you Anything. know, you can go buy another kind of beer. Target, particularly for online, I don't know, go buy it at Walmart, go buy it somewhere else. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you decide I'm not going to buy Target. But Apple? I don't know. You're really ready to go for that Samsung? I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, is that the issue or is Mark Cuban right? No, Mark Cuban is 100% right. And look, I, I think conservatives are now are attacking capitalism itself. The reason that these companies are going, quote, unquote, woke in the way that you guys would describe it is because they want to sell to everyone. That's capitalism 101. Do they want to sell beer to gay people? Of course they do. Do they want to sell cars, et cetera? Of course they do. To black people, gay people, Muslim people. Like, when you see a Coke ad that's international, it's filled with Muslims. You know why? Because there's 1.6 billion Muslims in the world, and they want to sell Coke to them, right? That's capitalism, baby. But and so, and there are more, there are way more progressives in the country than conservatives. And so that's why the main mistake that Bud Light made is that they backpedaled. So that's why they lose 30%, because both the left and the right were like, then screw Bud Light, okay? Whereas Nike did not backpedal. They went with Colin Kaepernick, and it was a very bold advertising campaign. In the beginning, it drops, because the stock market's filled with conservatives, and they're like, oh, America's going to hate this. And then what happens? It rebounds when sales comes out, because Nike then adds $6 billion in market I, cap, <clears throat> because young people buy sneakers. Maybe. That's been historically. I wonder whether the game is changing. This has now become a critical issue for conservatives. I mean, even Trump pointed it out, right? That when he, when he was at a speech recently, and he was saying he talks about cutting taxes, no one responds. He talks about the trans issue, and everyone's cheering, et cetera. And it, it seems to me that the game has changed, and that now, if you do take on these issues, there is much more of a potential for economic backlash than ever before. I don't know. Do you think I'm wrong on that? Well, well, I got to agree with one thing you said and disagree with another thing you said. The thing I want to agree with is these companies don't have any values and any ethics right, in right. making money, right? Yeah. So to the extent that they're doing... And making sure their employees don't money. revolt, right? right? No, sure, no, that's right. part that's of it, too. Right. It's yeah. all bottom line. Yeah. 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 wrong about the numbers, though. 25% of Americans call themselves conservative. Only 6% call themselves progressives. So the question is, where is the market value in going woke if you're only going to be appealing to 6% of people? Yeah. I think what happened is this, is... For a long time, there was a significant portion of this country that did not believe that everyone deserved dignity and equality. The left was at the forefront of that fight. The thing is, they won that fight. And now the vast majority of Americans 
believe completely that everyone should be treated with dignity, including trans adults, by the way. Um, it's certainly disgusted by racism. I mean, all of these fights were waged by the left successfully and won. And so what did the left do? They went into overdrive mode, into overreach mode. They started turning on Dr. King's vision. They started turning on this idea that gay people and gay marriage should be this apex of how we think about, you know, happy families, and instead started turning on marriage, right? And I think that's what your seniors, these companies don't understand who America is and what Americans are. And they're being led by these elitist progressives with their these over-credentialed elites who sit at home on their laptops and believe in all this woke stuff. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.